I think it's doing it. Do y'all see me? Let me know if y'all see me because it was buffering and it wasn't even like, like, come on, like y'all doing too much. I've been, I've been set this live. Like, come on. Okay. I think I'm, I think it's live now. Okay. Hey y'all hit the thumbs up. If you can see me, if you can hear me good, I'm about to go on Instagram as well. Cause I let everybody know that I will be on Instagram and on YouTube. Hey B. Hey, Hey Halima. Hey Kathy. Uh, <laughs> I know that's right. Set that alarm clock, boo. Hey, Teresa. Teresa. Hey, honey. Hey, Diane. Hi. Okay, so I'm going to attempt to go live on Instagram at the same time. And I think, I, yeah, I'm live on Instagram at the same time. So... People on Instagram can ask their questions as well as you guys. So let me see. how Where am I going to put this at? Because I can still see myself. Yep. Yep. Hey, y'all. Hi. So I'm live here on Instagram and I'm, and I'm live on YouTube. Yes, I'm stepping my game up. I'm stepping my game up. I'm stepping my game up. <laughs> so wait, y'all. Have y'all had a chance to look at the video? Tonight, this educational video was about androgenetic alopecia. So have you had a chance to take a look at the video? Androgenetic alopecia is basically female pattern baldness. And with this alopecia, it's kind of similar to me, like um, CCCA alopecia, except you don't you don't really have the symptoms of the inflammation of the scalp. You don't really have the itching and burning. You don't have any of that. So it's more so just um, degeneration of your hair follicles. So basically the antigen phase, which is the, um, the resting phase, if I'm not mistaken, slow, like it, it stays longer than it would if you had you know, your regular um, cycle, hair cycle of growth. So because that phase stays longer with female pattern baldness, the follicles then begin to degenerate because it's not repeating in the phase that it's supposed to for your hair to grow. So with female pattern baldness, like male pattern baldness, if you notice the hair follicles thins out, like you'll notice that the hair is thinner in certain areas as it's growing, than in other areas. That's why many men, when they have the male pattern baldness and the crowns of their head, the rest is thick and then the middle is thinning out. That's because that is the pattern of the male and female pattern baldness. Hey, Diane, hi, abundantly blessed. I'm talking to people on Instagram now, y'all. I'm on, if, for y'all who don't know who just entering, I'm live on Instagram and on YouTube. And I posted the educational video this Sunday, which is about androgenetic alopecia, AKA female pattern hair loss. So, hey, Karita. Hi, Fatima. Oh, honey, you didn't look at the live. Who looked at the video? Who had a chance to look at the educational video about the female pattern hair loss? So um, basically, while y'all answering that, the thing that I suggest in order to treat female pattern hair loss is different from what I suggest to treat with CCCA alopecia or like in Plano Plinaris is different treatments for different things. And this is why I, why I want you guys, I know you've seen it, um, <laughs> B. <laughs> this is why I want you guys to, um, this is why I want you guys to basically get personal consultations so that I can look at your scalp and then I can see in your hair and I can see what I think you should do based on my experience, my opinion, my expertise. No, I'm not a doctor. No, I'm not a dermatologist, but they don't know what they be talking about all the time. <laughs> Somebody said, uh, what's, what's your uh, expertise, like your education behind this? My experience. That's that's my expertise. That's my educate my experience. And they ain't steering me wrong since it's been working. <laughs> so y'all can go ahead and go on with that mess. <laughs> so, all right. So wait, Diane, you said you have 
male pattern hair diana frank you said you have male pattern hair loss how diana are you a female or is this just like a different um like username that you're under because i think i remember you saying that when you bought the products uh okay abundantly blessed i'm glad you're gonna watch the video i'm glad it's on your own to-do list hey miss bev how are you <laughs> thank you I try to do better than the dermatologist because they ain't do me no good. I'm now not by no means am I knocking dermatologists because I know some real good dermatologists, especially the one I went to. You know, he was a good dermatologist, a black dermatologist here in Philadelphia in Center City. But my problem is people are dermatologists and some doctors are not updated and educated on hair loss. They're especially CCCA alopecia, which is mainly in African-American women. Like people just don't want to do research for us. Like, so sometimes, you know, we got to take matters into our own hands. So that's what I did. So let me tell y'all what I suggest that you do to treat female pattern hair loss if you got it. And okay, Diana. Okay. So if you're female, you have female pattern hair loss because it's male pattern hair loss and female pattern hair loss is basically the same. It's just in male pattern hair loss, it starts from the top and around the crown. Female pattern hair loss, it starts in a crown and then goes forward. So it's basically the same as just male and female. So what I suggest that you do, which I posted in the video, in tonight's educational video, to treat this type of hair loss is that for one, do not take any steroids. Do not use um, Kenalog spray, which is steroid spray, because over time, what it does is it thins out your scalp. It thins out your scalp, and it also can cause, and because it's thinning out, it causes wrinkles in your scalp. For my Instagram people, if you haven't seen my video on YouTube where I talk about my Ghana client who had steroids, she was using steroids. The um, dermatologist, you know, gave her steroids to put on her scalp for her CCCA alopecia. And her scalp looked like she had steroid cream on her scalp for a while. She was using it for 30 days. So she started using the organic hair growth oil for three days and her scalp was visibly, you could see it visibly healing. And it's on my YouTube page. And I think I posted it on the Instagram, like on the, in the feed. So you might be able to see it on there as well. So do not take any steroids. Do not take Kenalog spray. Do not um, put steroid cream on your scalp. Do not use the shampoos that they give you that's filled with chemicals. Basically, you will get the trio set, which is the raw African black soap shampoo with peppermint oil, stimulating growth peppermint oil, and also the hair growth conditioner with peppermint oil and the organic hair growth oil. That comes in a trio set. What you would do is shampoo your hair one to two times a week. Now, if you are Caucasian or you have Caucasian-like hair, you can shampoo your hair as needed because their hair needs to be shampooed more often do than our hair. So you shampoo your hair um, one to two times per week. And if you're Caucasian, you can shampoo as needed. And then massage the organic hair growth oil on your scalp daily. Now, before you use the organic hair growth oil, you must, before the first use, this is only the first use, you guys, because I've been getting questions about this. Before you use the organic hair growth oil, you must shampoo and condition your hair with the organic, the um, African black soap hair growth shampoo and the hair growth conditioner. Then you massage it onto your scalp because you want all of, the benefits of the organic hair growth oil and the rest of the products to get on your scalp. You do not want to miss that by being covered in debris and dirt and all in grime and gel or whatever else we put on our scalp. <laughs> so you don't want that. So you want to make sure that you shampoo and condition your hair with the organic hair growth shampoo. I mean, the hair growth shampoo and the raw African black soap shampoo. And then you massage the hair growth oil onto your scalp. Then I want you to take pumpkin seed oil pills and or you can take the liquid. I think I bought it up here. 
pumpkin seed oil pills two times a day. If you don't like pills, you can also take the liquid form. Oh, here we go. You can also take the um, liquid form, which is here. If y'all can see it. This is um, this is extra virgin organic pumpkin seed oil. Extra virgin organic, which is the best, the purest kind that you can get. And you would take this by Doppler. You can um, put it in your mouth. You can, I was thinking about adding like a vanilla extract flavor to it. I don't know. Let me know who tried this if you want me to do that. If not, then I'll leave it. But you would take one Doppler in the morning and one Doppler at night. Each Doppler consists of 1,000 milligrams. So that will be the one, because you take pumpkin seed, if you're taking the pills, you would take one in the morning and one in the evening. And each pill is 1,000 milligrams. Each Doppler of the oil is 1,000 milligrams. So after you do that, or if you don't want to take the oil and you don't want to take pills, you can eat pumpkin seeds. You can eat pumpkin seeds. Um, make sure they're organic, you know, I, I mean, lightly salted or no salt. You know, it depends on your blood pressure. You might not need, you might not supposed to be having salt, but make sure you eat like at least three handfuls a week. Like you can eat a handful every day, but the most of what I did, I ate three handfuls a week. So then you, you know, you take the supplements and then I want you to take MSM. MSM is a natural surf, sulfur that um, it occurs in the body and it's, it occurs in bones, but it, it not only does it help strengthen your bones and with arthritis, but it's also anti-inflammatory and it's also good for growing your hair. So MSM is an excellent supplement for people who are suffering from female pattern baldness. In some cases, I do my personal consultations. I let people know who have CCCA based on what I see to take the MSM. So it depends. And I also suggest other herbs as well, depending on what I see. I got to see your scalp. I got to see your hair for me to give you a personal um, consultation because what it does is, I don't know, it's, it's, you know, it's just a gift I got. If I can see it, I can see it. Like, I can see right through it. I can say, all right, this is what you need to do. And it comes like that. And shout out to um, the Go Hippie, because I know you in the room. I seen you came in early. I don't know if you're still in, but shout out to you, boo. Love you. Um, she's my spiritual advisor, y'all. Make sure y'all go check out her channel, the Go Hippie. She's awesome. She's the best. Okay. So then after you take the supplements that I suggest, in, in this case, pumpkin seed oil pills, you can eat it or you can take the liquid um, as well, which is available on the website. This is extra virgin organic pumpkin seed oil. Then take MSM, which is the natural sulfur that's found in the body, which is also anti-inflammatory. MSM dosage is 1000 milligrams as well, queen. So this most of it is 1000 milligrams. I think the silica is as well. This is the dosage that they, you know, provide it in when you buy it per pill. So um, then you do that. And then on alternating days, um, queen silica, I only suggest that in certain people. So when I look at your hair, when you schedule your personal consultations and I look at your hair and I will say, okay, you need silica or you don't. So I don't like you to take extra stuff unless you need it. So, and then once you do that, you on alternating days, beside, aside from massaging the organic hair growth oil onto your scalp every day, you're going to alternate on the other days with the holistic scalp cream. The holistic scalp cream is a more potent formula in which I created with um, extra essential oils that is especially good for people who have stage two CCCA alopecia, where it's severe and you're starting to get scarring on your scalp, as well as stage three and female pattern baldness so is basically when you can see visibly, like you see a scalp, but you can see like more scalp right here. And then you just, you see scalp just through here. Just all this is just scalp. So that, the um, holistic scalp cream is excellent for that. Excellent for that. And I also um, recommend 
the holistic scalp cream to most of my um, clients who have male pattern baldness because it takes it up a notch, especially for the ones who already been using the organic hair growth oil. And I have some posted on the page. Um, if I feel like they, or usually um, I had already, I will already suggest it to them, but the older people who, before I had the holistic scalp cream, I'll tell them to jump it up a notch with that because it's the extra potent um, formula for that. Um, abundantly blessed, there are two stages in uh, CCCA alopecia. Stage one is when your hair is, you don't have, you have active hair follicles and you don't have any scarring, but you have hair loss. Your hair is growing and it's breaking back off, growing and it's breaking back off. And it's like a reoccurring cycle. And stage two is when you have scarring on um, the scalp along with the hair loss. So there are, two, there are two stages to CCCA alopecia. What I try to do when I do personal consultations, I try to, well, I can see which stage you are by looking at your the photos of your hair. And the point of the products is to stop people from getting to stage two, which is scarring and which is permanent scarring. Because some people who have scarring have not grown their hair back. Um, Rojo, have you seen any success with someone having scarring in or male pattern baldness? Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. I actually had people on the page with male pattern baldness. I just posted one. Well, no, the one I just posted, the male that I just posted uh, recently, he has CCCA alopecia. But prior to that, um, I'll just repost it. He has male pattern baldness and I have seen success with him as well. I have seen, listen, y'all. Y'all trying to get y'all trying to get me in trouble. According to the um the dermatologist, okay. According to I guess you would say the FDA or whatever, you know, when you have scarring, your hair doesn't grow back because there's no active hair follicles. But let me just say this. I had have some people who said that they had scarring. The dermatologist told them they had scarring and their hair has grown back. And I will also say this, whatever your situation is over your hair, like whether you're dealing with male pattern baldness, female pattern baldness, severe hair loss, CCCA alopecia, whatever your situation is, speak life over it. If you want your hair to grow back, say my hair gonna go back. And that's what's gonna happen. See, a lot of us are stuck in these, um, Woe is me. Like, my hair is not going to go back. My hair never going to go back. I'm just so frustrated. And that's normal. It's normal. But you have to be careful what you speak because if you keep speaking that over and over and over again, that's what's going to happen. Like, there's never going to be a change. So you have to speak life over your situation. Like, um, I remember when I went to the dermatologist, they told me, you know, pretty much all you can do is, you know, get these steroid shots and, you know, we'll go from there. <laughs> And I'm like, okay, but what what is that going to do? Like, <laughs> that's just going to slow down the progress. Like, what is that going to do? Like, is that going to cure my situation? No, it's just going to slow down the progress. They didn't have any answers for me. And as far as I know, based on what people are telling me now, there are still no answers. Um, but that's okay because we got our own avenue here, and just spread the word to other people who you know are suffering from this condition, and we're gonna make our own lane. You know, you know, we do we make our own leg. Dad. <laughs> if any time <laughs> you don't have an avenue for something, you make your own lane and you fix the situation. That's what I say. Make your own lane. So, all right. So after that, yeah, I said the shampoo and conditioner one to two times a weekly. If you're Caucasian, you can do it daily. Massage the organic hair growth for you into your scalp. Take the pumpkin seed oil your pills two times a day. Um, or eat them, or you can take the liquid, which is available on the website. Take um, the MSM one time a day, they're 1,000 milligrams, as well as the, um, but you no, know, silica is out only if I suggest that you take it. And then um, mas on alternating days, you massage your hair with the holistic scalp cream, and you keep alternating on days, hair growth oil, holistic scalp cream. And yeah, sit back and watch the results come in and have faith. Have faith. Okay. Okay. Have faith. Stop speaking death over your situation, you know, and don't come to me. 
don't come to me in 30 days. If it didn't take you 30 days. Now, I have had people who had great success in 30 days. But some everybody is different. So don't come to me in 30 days and say, oh my gosh, my hair isn't growing. I don't know what's going on. Yeah, you can. As a matter of fact, you can come to me and say that because I usually tell you to let me know what your regimen is and I, I see what it is and I'll tell you how to fix it. So that's fine. But don't be expecting stuff to happen overnight. Did your hair get that way overnight? No. So don't expect things to happen overnight. I'm not a person who promised stuff like that and I never will. I'm not. I'm not. I won't play them games over it, okay? So in most cases, it takes time for your scalp to heal anyway. Your scalp needs to heal in order for you to create a healthy environment for your um for your hair to grow and your um, hair follicles to thrive. So in order to create that healthy environment, you have to first, one, heal the scalp. And a good way to doing that is from the inside out. Always heal your um, body from the inside out. And that's why I tell you to take the pumpkin seed oil pills because it stops the inflammation from the inside out. And then also um, taking care of your hair on the outside. And that's with the products. So that's how you treat female pattern baldness. Now I'm going to scroll and answer questions. So if you have any questions, I want you to put them in the comments now if you haven't already. I'm going to first start on Instagram because um, y'all, my YouTube fam, y'all already know y'all been here for a while. I've been answering your questions every Sunday. So I'm just going to answer their questions first and then I'm going to go over to YouTube. So let me second. So let's start with Instagram. So if you have any questions, put it in now. And if you have already, I'm just going to scroll and see what you guys are talking about. Oh, wait, hold on. I be saying people do this all the time and I ain't even do this. I forgot to put a pin on Instagram. <laughs> and wait, let me see. Female pattern baldness. So y'all know what we talking about. I should have been did that in the beginning. But let me put that in here. Okay. I got to figure out how to pin this. Uh, okay, got it. All right, so let me get the um Instagram first. See what questions y'all ask. Scroll. Okay, so uh, let me uh, I answer that, answer that, answer that. Oh, Diane, you said you switched over from YouTube. <laughs> Yeah, because I thought I'd usually see you on um, YouTube instead of Instagram. But I'm happy to see you on both platforms. All right. Mm. Okay, so Sweet Ebony, you said, um, I need your help. My hair is falling out and I'm in tears. Okay, sweet Ebony, why is your hair falling out? Are you under stress? Were you diagnosed with some type of alopecia? Um, is it hormone related? Like what have you found out so far about why your hair is falling out? So put that in the um, comments and I'm gonna come back to what you said. Yes, Sun Kiss Carmel. She said, I need to do better with no inflammatory foods. Yes. And if you have not noticed, I have been posting more um, anti-inflammatory foods on um, the page so that you guys can get ideas about um, meal plans and everything like that. Shout out to B for doing, you know, her thing with the meal prepping and eating anti-inflammatory foods because it's very important if you want your hair to grow back. <laughs> a bunny bless you Sue. you said i just ate a, <laughs> i just ate a bowl of cereal shake about it okay it's it's all right every once in a while like don't go cold turkey because if you do you probably go on backlash so i mean just majority of the time make sure you're eating anti-inflammatory foods like it's crazy like my own i just went shopping today and got some more fish i got some tilapia no i didn't no i did get tilapia 
but I got the whole tilapia, like with the head on and everything. Cause I don't know, I don't want them genetically modified tilapia. I need to see that it got the head on. So, <laughs> and I got some salmon. Um, I got some salmon steaks, and I think some cod steaks. I never tried that, so I wanted to try it. So anti-inflammatory is good, and I got cabbage. Cause mostly what I've been doing lately, guys, is I've been eating salmon or some type of fish. Cause I love fish. Anybody know me? I love fish, and I've been eating a vegetable with it, with it, which usually is cabbage, cause I love cabbage. So, basically, the key to and so far I have lost six pounds. So I'm I'm hyped about that, cause it was wild. Cause you know y'all know you know I had just had a baby. Y'all know when you have a child, is that weight loss is hard to lose. I don't know what they talking about breastfeeding. That it. <laughs> Breastfeed, they do nothing for me. I don't know what they talk about. But yeah, what, what happens for me is I, I can't eat sugar. I got to eat clean. That's the only thing that works for me. So let me see. If y'all in YouTube land, make sure y'all thumbs up. Make sure y'all thumbs up while y'all in here. Um, Queen, I think I answered one dosage of MSM is 1,000 milligrams. Yeah, I answered how many stages of CC8. Alopecia is two. Yeah, I answered that. Nikki, you said, what about itching and tenderness? If you have itching and tenderness, make sure you use the scalp soothing mist and or you can do the Listerine rinse, which is I suggest that you do daily into the itching and tenderness subside. And you also need to take pumpkin seed oil pills or eat them or take the liquid form in order for the inside of your body to be healed in order to cure the inflammation on the outside. And I have several videos about this on my YouTube channel. So make sure you check it out. I talk about how to deal with that situation. Abundantly blessed. I wish God would have placed you in my life sooner. But I'm grateful that I have you now. I'm grateful that I have you. I'm grateful that I have all of you guys. But, you know, everything happens in this divine time and this divine order and everything happens for a reason. So I'm just glad y'all here with me tonight. Yes, God does know best. Oh, thank you. Thank you, Miss Thomas. Um, okay. You said you didn't know, Rojo, didn't know to take pumpkin seed oil twice. Only been taking it once a day. Yeah. If, if your alopecia is severe, especially if you're having, um, severe inflammation and pain, you take it two times a day. And if your hair loss is severe, you take it two times a day. If it's not as severe, you can take it one time a day. Um, Queen Lily, you said, do you have products for people who that have healthy growing hair and just want to maintain it and get it thick. Yep, coming soon. Working on it now. Basically, it'll be non-medicated, which is the medicated is, you know, my formulas. But it'll just be like a, well, I guess my formulas is not that complicated. But it'll be like a more simple formula for people who just want to grow their hair. So stay tuned, working on that. Give me like two weeks. Um... Rojo, how long have you studied alopecia and how long ago did you formulate your products? Child, let me see. I I found, first of all, I done had um, I, what other everybody did in my era growing up. I'm an AIDS baby. And we relaxed out here. I was getting relaxers and everything like that. And I noticed it. Actually, my boyfriend at the time was like, yo, I know your crown getting thin. Like what? The top, you just said the top, top getting thin. So I was like, um, maybe it was because of relaxers, which more than likely it probably was, but it also other things come into play with that. So it, it eight years passed. I didn't really know what the cause was. I mean, I'm guilty just like a lot of people who wait a long time to go to the dermatologist to see what's going on. So eight years passed, and then I went to the dermatologist in 2015. 2015, I went to the dermatologist. I was diagnosed with CCCA alopecia. From 2015 to 2016, like the end of 2016, before then, at the beginning, whenever I was diagnosed, I created my own products because the stuff they gave me wasn't working. And the stuff I bought from the hair store wasn't working. So I had a dream. And it's so crazy because like Madam CJ Walker, I was just watching 
C.D. Fury on YouTube, and he had did um, kind of like a background about Madam C.J. Walker. And the way she came up with her formula for her famous hair grease was she had a dream and she woke up and she, you know, created what she had. And I was like, how ironic and odd is that? That that's exactly what happened to me. I had a dream about the formula for the organic hair growth oil. I woke up. I created it. I tried it on myself for a whole year. And then I put it out. And I wasn't even going to put it out at first because um, my husband at the time and my friend at the time was telling me, don't put it out. You know, you know how the, the, the things that most black people and other people do when they're in fear for success and or just in fear in general, like you don't know what's going to happen beyond your fear of what, what's going to come. You're in fear for what's going to come. But I so I listened to them for about a month. And when that month passed, I was like, no, because the feeling kept coming back for me to put um, the organic hair growth oil out there. And that's what I did. So basically from 2015 on here to 2019, I've been on this hardcore, meaning trying to figure out what it is, what doctors have found out about it, what dermatologists have found out about it. And from the organic hair growth oil, it formulated into other products as time went on my experience and research. Um, yes, abundantly blessed. Being pregnant and craving those inflammatory foods is a challenge for me. Yes, that's what happened to me. Okay, if y'all look at my, my videos on YouTube and y'all saw how small I was, <laughs> that's because I'm finally eating the diet that I'm doing now, which is seafood and vegetables. But when I was on that diet, I lost so much weight. And you can go on my personal um, Instagram, you see how small I was and on my YouTube. But once I got pregnant, oh, oh my gosh, those cravings, oh my gosh, was out of this world. It was, I was just, you know. I just, I said, you know what? This is what's supposed to happen. <laughs> and I let it happen. And I'm glad I did because I love my baby girl. And, you know, just get back right after you had a baby, if that's the case. If you're craving something, don't deny yourself, girl. Don't deny yourself. Um, Sweet. I mean, you said, I haven't been diagnosed with alopecia, but the crown of my hair has fallen out a number of times and then grows back. Sounds familiar. Now the patch has become bigger and I just don't know what to do with it. Ebony, what you're saying is basically most people stories who have CCCA alopecia. That was my story. The crown would grow, then it will break off, grow and break off. And then I would, then when I went to the dermatologist, I was diagnosed with CCCA alopecia. Now, um, somebody that I'm treating for, CCCA Amel just inboxed me today and told me that his crown is now growing in the same mm, speed as the rest of his hair. And that's what you want to get done. You want that to happen. And what that means is basically the products have healed his scalp and now his hair is starting to grow at the same in the crown as the same speed as the rest of his hair. So Ebony um, inbox me a picture of your hair and let me know that you were in this live and I'll give you my assessment for free. Okay. Is keto eating, I eat high protein, high fat, inflammatory. If the chick, it gotta be chicken. There's no red meat. And, um, inflammatory foods is red meat. Can't eat red meat, sugar, stuff like that. If it's, um, hormone-free chicken, and um, pretty much then yes, but you can't, proteins like that and, you know, um, hormone-free uh, eggs and all that stuff. Um, is uh, oh, Okay, Ebony, you said it's really itchy and burns sometimes. That sounds like CCCA, girl. Make sure you inbox me. That sounds like CCCA, and it probably is, because that's definitely a symptom. Okay, okay, okay. I'm glad it's been helping your scalp, Pecan Brown. I'm glad the product's been helping your scalp. Yes, abundantly blessed. The 
the struggle is real. Okay. All right, y'all. So now I'm going to go answer the questions on YouTube. So if y'all put y'all questions there and I already see B and my moderators, y'all answering questions, holding it down. Thank y'all. That's why y'all my moderators. Okay. So let me see what questions you guys have. Okay. Hold on, let me get another sip because that was a lot of talking. Okay, so let's go down. Carol, um, you get the organic hair growth oil from blackhairandskincare.com. Corita, yes, experience is the best teacher. To me, all the time. Not sometimes, all the time. Kathy Love, you can email me a picture of your hair. Let me know you were in this live so I can give you a free assessment. Um, Sharon, you said, I just had my appointment with the dermatologist. They want me to take antibiotics for three months straight along with a topical solution. I don't want to be on antibiotics for that long. Sharon, I, okay, the antibiotics, I'm not going to tell you not to take that, but the steroid solution, you don't have to do that. Um, use the holistic scalp cream for that. And just the shampoo, condition, the oil, holistic scalp cream, alternating days, and take the pumpkin seed oil pills two times a day. Um, hey, D. Okay, B, you said, how do I feel about yogurt? Or organic granola as part of my diet because sometimes I get sweet too. So I eat organic granola bars. Um, dairy is um, inflammatory, so I wouldn't suggest that. Um, but granola, if it doesn't have um, dairy or anything in it, I think that's fine. Like, just for your sweet tooth. Like, you can't go cold turkey and die. Because, <laughs> like, sugar, honestly, y'all, is. <laughs> I know it's a little extreme, but sugar is an addiction, okay? They said that's um, similar to heroin. So, I mean, take your time. You know, just don't eat as much as you did before. And as you start to eliminate sugar from your diet, you're not even going to crave it that much. You're going to be like, when you do eat it, what is that? Because I had started, like I told y'all, this. Um, I lost six pounds. I had stopped eating sugar, which is um, the stuff that I was craving when I was pregnant. And basically, I had it got a cookie, and I only could eat one cookie because it was too sweet for me. So that's what's going to happen when you eventually. So B, you just started your um, routine for the meal prepping. So as time goes on, you're going to not crave sugar at all. Watch, and when you eat that one cookie like I did, you're like, "Ooh, this is too sweet." Ugh. So watch. The longer you go without it, the more you're not going to want it, and then your body is going to start burning your fat instead of carbs for um, weight loss. It's gonna go right to the fat, just like that. Uh, okay, Sharon Hill. You said, I'm using your shampoo, but my hair is hard to lather. Should I be concerned with obtaining a good lather? No, because it's an organic shampoo, Sharon. And it's not gonna be, it's not gonna lather like you would get a lather from um, hair store shampoos or on the market. Because they put um, extra, what is some it's some type of soap that they put in there? Um, I think it's lye. Some the soap is the, it's a lye type soap that creates the lather, and yeah, that's not a good that's not a good ingredient to have. So you're just used to a different lather, but you'll get used to it. Um, also, y'all, I have a video on YouTube that shows the difference between the store board shampoo and the uh, raw African black soap shampoo and how it lathers and the difference in the same and everything like that. Sharon, you arrange your consultation um, by clicking on the link in the bio. It should be in there. If not, go on the website, blackhairandskincare.com. There will be um, something where you can, where, um, where the products is, where you can purchase. It's gonna be, a, say, a phone slash email consultation. And you can arrange a consultation there. Yeah, Marsha, the pumpkin seed oil, depending on who you are, it can make you lose weight. It made me lose weight. But I think because the way it does with that is if you have inflammation in your body, pumpkin seed oil pills stop the inflammation. 
And if you have no more inflammation in your body, you can lose weight because you can't lose body in a toxic environment. Um, you can't lose body. You can't lose weight with a toxic environment in your body with high inflammation. It's not going to happen. So when a pumpkin seed oil, you, you're, you're ingesting it and it's regulating your body, yeah, you might lose weight. Mm -hmm. If you don't want to lose no more weight, try omega-3s. But I think they do the same thing. Or just eat more. <laughs> I don't know, girl. Everybody different. But it did make me lose weight. It did. And I got a video on that on YouTube talking about it. Um, thank you, B, for letting Sharon know that. Hey, Ebony. Mm -hmm. Okay. And YouTube, they um talk amongst themselves. So I'm just scrolling through the conversation, y'all. So if you're on Instagram, make sure you go on YouTube, join the conversation. It's a lot, a lot of people who've been following me for years who have, they know what's going on with me. They know the background. They know the history. Most of the people on Instagram, y'all really just getting to know me. So if you want to get to know me better, go on YouTube to find out my history. Um, Taffany, um, okay, you said you touched on MSM and silica. Can you kind of reiterate for me, please? Basically, MSM is a natural sulfur in the body, which is also anti-inflammatory. So it's good for um, hair growth. And silica is a mineral that most people um, don't have enough of. And it's good for um, the body as well. I only suggest silica to some people based on consultation and what I see with their hair. Hey, Ashley, my sister just joined. Mrs. Lazar, y'all say hi. Good evening. Good evening, great sir. <laughs> All right. Okay. Da, da, da. Sharon. Okay, you said, wait, wait, wait. Teresa. Yes, life and death is in the tongue. Yes, speak over your situation. Speak over your situation. You are correct. Sharon, you said I decided not to take the antibiotics. I was supposedly to get rid of the... Um, any inflammation internally, but they told me the antibiotics would also affect good bacteria, good health. Okay. Well, see, that was your choice. I just couldn't tell you not to do that. So take the pumpkin seed oil pills, <laughs> but I'm not going to tell you if they told you to take um, antibiotics, not to take it. That's up to you though. Hey, Shamika. Hey, Regina. Yeah, antibiotics does cause yeast infections. I mean, gosh, it's the devil. Oh, <laughs> now I'm already in comment was for Big Man. Because Big Man asked Sharon a question and she answered it. Like I said, they talk some on themselves on YouTube as well. So, because everybody know each other over there. You're welcome, Gina. I know that's right, Shamika. She said, I'm here eating my salad and drinking my smoothie while waiting for my new order. She's sitting there minding her business. She like, <laughs> she minding her business. Getting her own stuff together. I know that's right. Oh, thanks, Regina. I'm glad you like the leave-in conditioner. And you know what's so funny? I was so nervous about the leave-in because I know y'all was waiting so long for it. And I know that most people think the leave-in conditioner, generally, how it is out here in this world, is one way. But I didn't want to make it with any um, chemicals, so I wasn't going to put a preservative in it. So in order for me to put water inside the leave-in, I would have to have a preservative. And that's why it's separate. That's why you have the refreshing mist, which has... Um, 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 some oils in it to soften your hair as well and water and aloe. And then you have the leave-in, which is, um, it also have, what is it? Uh, it? It has protein in it, basically a hair softener um, that's hydrolyzed wheat protein, which is small enough to actually penetrate the hair strand and keep it moisturized and keep it um, soft and settled. And, and as you know, protein also fills in on hair strands that are like brittle and dry and everything like that. So the way you use it is you spray your hair with the refreshing um, scalp mist and then 
you put the um, leave-in on afterwards. Make sure you don't get any water into the leave-in. I have a video demonstrating this on YouTube as well. And um, on the page, on the Instagram page, like just a little snippet of it. Hey, Miss Williams, how are you? Trenicia. Um, let me see, let me see. Okay, Janita said, what's good to eat for breakfast foods to contribute to hair growth? Berries. Do you like berries? Do you like blueberries and um, strawberries? That's good for that. It's an anti-inflammatory food as well. Um, you can make like a berry smoothie, strawberry smoothie with kale, spinach. Um, I usually like pineapple in mine and I put honey in it as well. Make sure it's raw organic honey. So that's good for that. Make a good smoothie. And um, what it, uh, spinach, spinach and eggs. Spinach has biotin in it, biotin in it, biotin in it. And that helps with hair growth. Okay, Regina said the holistic scalp cream is too. My husband used it too. <laughs> I didn't think we would use it all so quickly. Yes, because the holistic scalp cream is 16 ounces. That's a big jar. But when you got family members stealing your products, <laughs> Regina, don't the husbands always steal your stuff? Regina, how do you like the wig? Regina bought um the uh uh the wig with the free trio set, which I offer on the website. And she said that she liked it when she first got it. I want to know how you're liking it now. Okay, Mimi. I'm going to check your email in a second, Mimi. Mimi, just email me progress pictures. Hey, Kay. Janita, my product is on, my well, my products is on blackhairandskincare.com. Make sure you check it out. Okay, B. Janetta, you said, hi, I've been using it. I haven't taken the pumpkin oil. I will be ordering the products. I use the hair growth oil. I love it. Thank you, hon. Thank you for the support. Um, Miss Tippy, you said, can't wait for my order to arrive. Excited. I'm happy that you can't wait. And I'll be working in here hard, y'all. Y'all don't even know how many orders I'll be getting today. But I hire people now. So I'll be micromanaging them. <laughs> Okay, you says, does the androgenetic alopecia products have the same ingredients as the pumpkin seed oil in hair mist? Um, the androgenetic alopecia products, what are you talking about, girl? The the stuff that, oh, are you talking about the stuff that I suggest for the female pattern hair loss, aka androgenetic alopecia? Um, the the um organic hair growth oil has the pumpkin seed oil in it. And the hair mist doesn't. And the holistic scalp cream doesn't. Okay. Um, mm -mm -mm. Okay, you said your doctor has you on something. DHG blocker for women with androgenetic alopecia. But I also take the pumpkin seed oil castle. Is that okay? Ask your doctor to be sure. Because you take it for blood pressure. So ask them to be sure, but it should be because you can you can eat pumpkin seeds. And that's natural, organic. But just ask them to be sure if you don't want to take the pills. Okay. All right, Taffany. Thanks so much. See, love you. Love you too, Taffany. Um, Marsha, what about DHC shampoos and conditioners? Email me a picture of what you're using, like the back of it, the ingredients, and I'll let you know. Um, RD says, I had CCCA in the crown area and will not grow. And now it's moving toward the front. I use the hair growth oil, pumpkin seed oil, and biotin. You probably need more than that, um, RD. Um, you probably at an advanced stage of CCCA, and you might need the holistic scalp cream and also the shampoo and conditioner. Don't use any other products because your situation probably is more severe than you think. And make sure you're taking the pumpkin seed oil pills two times a day. Matter of fact, email me because I want to follow up on that. And that's another thing too, y'all. If y'all having problems, y'all can definitely email me. Everybody know I get back to you and I answer you based on what I, you know, what your questions is. 
Um, hey, Char. Eve, Eve Lowe said, hey, Char is developed from Instagram. Hey, boo. Um, I still have a spot where there is no hair growing. Any suggestions? I think I, I responded to your own message. I responded to your message. And if I'm not mistaken, I think I asked you what shampoo and conditioner you was using as well to show me a picture of the spot that you're talking about. And I don't think I got it yet. If you did send it, I'll check it after this live. Um, Marsha, yes, I can make you a short bob wig. Yep. If you want a short bob wig, I, you know, in fact, I can, I have a manufacturer one. I, I can put it on the website. So you can go to sydneynicolehair.com and it will be on there for the short bob wigs. But if you want the package with the trio, the free trio and the wig, um, then you can, I think it's what, 14 inches or 12 inches for a bob cut. And I can like um, personalize it for you. Oh, Regina, I'm glad you love the wig. Yes, that's what I wanted to know. So like I told you guys, Regina got the um, the um, wig with the free trio set. It still looks the same and it's nice and soft. That's good, Regina. It's supposed to. Listen, y'all, I've been, listen, I've been testing these, this hair, okay? I'm testing in here right now. That's why I got it sewing. Because this texture that I have in right now is a, um, more of a, like a blowout texture, um, like a relaxed hair texture, African-American relaxed hair texture. So I'm text, I'm text, I'm testing this texture right now. So... Rhonda, what problems are you having ordering? Let me know. You're welcome, Developing Eve. Check your own messages. Thank you, B, for asking her. I appreciate that. Thanks for helping out. Shout out to my moderators, because y'all be looking out. Okay, Marsha, so you said you haven't used DHT products. You were just asking my thoughts. I have to see... The ingredients. It all boils down to the ingredients at the end of the day. Um, I jumped off Instagram and on YouTube. Um, what's special about your wigs? Do you make them yourself? Yes, I do make custom wigs, um, Rojo, as well as um, my hair is not floor hair. And if you want to learn more about floor hair, basically floor hair is Typically, when you buy, or and I sell raw hair as well, but typically, when you buy hair like wigs from China, the hair is literally, and I have a video about this on YouTube, the truth about um, Brazilian hair. Typically, the hair is like when people get haircuts and all that other stuff. And basically, when they get haircuts or shaved heads or whatever, not, not um, temple donated hair, not Indian hair. But just hair that falls on the floor after you um, shave your hair or get a haircut, they put it together in a pile and they bag it in bags. Then they take it to the factory. They literally take strands by strands and put them together. And then they put it in like a bundle. They then put chemicals on it and they make it nice and soft like uh, it's the best hair ever. And then when you get it, it's like a rat's nest in the back of your head. So that's floor hair. So I don't sell floor hair. I don't sell floor hair. I, I don't I don't have time for that. So that's the difference with my hair. You're going to get some good hair. You're going to get a good wig that's going to last you a year or more. Let's, let's just put it like that. Um, Lady, you said, hi, Charmaine. Can I drink collagen powder while taking the punk seed oil? And can I take any brand punk seed oil because I ran out? And had to get at GNC. Yep, that's fine. Any brand is fine. Usually look at the capsules. Make sure that the color is a dark amber color. That's the color of the extra virgin organic punk seed oil. And also you can drink collagen powder while taking punk seed oil. Because I do it. I actually used to add it to my coffee. And for y'all who don't know, collagen is excellent for the skin, the hair, wrinkles, all that. It's excellent for hair growth. Natural, natural, natural supplement. Um, and that, Shara, do you, hey, do you think you will do a kinky wigs for natural hair? Yep, I'm actually making one right now. I wanted to have it together for this live, 
and I have the hair for it. Um, let me get it real quick so y'all can see it. Give me a second. Okay, guys, I'm back. Okay, so this is the kinky curly texture, and this is what it looks like. This is more like a texture that matches um, kinky curly hair. Like with my hair, when especially like when it's um, wet, y'all see my natural hair. I got it all on the page. It will match this texture. So I am making a wig right now. Um, for someone using this texture and I also will be posting it and making several and that way I can just sell it on the website So this will be on sydneynicolehair.com. It's on there now, but also the wig that I'm going to be making I'm going to make 10 of them that will be on there as well. And I think this is 18 inches stretched So but when it's washed cold washed, this is how it looks So let me bring it tangle it so that's how it looks. And this is kinky curly texture. So it blends more with um, our hair. Um, yes, Gina, my products do work on alopecia areta. It sure does. Rhonda, can I get to the site? Oh, you, I'm um, talking to B, okay. Okay, okay. Scroll, scroll, scroll. Honey, can I put some peppermint oil with the pumpkin oil? What, what, in the organic hair growth oil? Because it's already in there. You're welcome, lady. No problem. Okay. All right, y'all. So I answered all of y'all questions. People are still talking on YouTube in the comments. Um, I answered the questions on Instagram. Ashley, you better rewind this thing when you get out of here. <laughs> so I'll explain. You came and leave. We hit the replay, sis. <laughs> all right, y'all. So with that being said, I am going to end both lives. I so greatly appreciate you guys joining me this Sunday for the educational video and the live after show. Meet me again next Sunday for um, the educational Sunday's educational video, as well as the live after show, which will be 830 Eastern Standard Time um, after, you know, on Sunday. So I appreciate you guys and I will see you next Sunday. Bye.